I don't want anything that I'm saying to come off as I am taking the piece because I'm really not. This is coming from a loving place. Like when I was there on the Friday, I was absolutely gutted. But this is my objective truth and some other influencers I've spoken to that have said like, oh yeah, it was absolutely great. I have to call semi bullshit or semi biased because I know they're just saying that because they got they got paid to show up in a hotel, they got paid to go to a booth and the meeting they're following, that's great for you. However, the average person that hasn't been paid to go and bought tickets, their experience is different to an influence that got all expense trips. People, right now, what we're gonna do is get into Body Power 2019. By the time you're seeing this, this should be the Sunday, so I can beat, I can talk a bit more freely. I didn't want to speak too much in the previous video purely because I didn't want to deter people from going. I want people to go and assess it and have their own experience. Hopefully now you should have virtually seen it because it's been Friday, Saturday and most of Sunday now. So you can comment down below what your thoughts are on the expo. I'm going to go through my sort of thoughts and how I felt about the expo. Right, I'm even getting a chair for this. I'm actually sitting right by the window. I've got my, got my alkaline water which I got from Body Power on the Friday. I've got loads of it. I'm going to try and get into this without being too, too biased. Let me say whatever I'm a, before I say anything right now, let me just say I love body power. Anyone that knows me or has seen any of my YouTube vlogs of the previous like four or five years of body power been going knows I live for this weekend. So everything I'm about to say, just know that it comes from a loving place and I was just very, very let down. So let's let's start from the beginning. Every single year I have noticed that there has been like a semi sort of a dip. I think back when I used to go in like 2013 or 14. It was like, it was quite quiet then, because back then body power was the big thing. Brands like Gymshark and stuff were very small then, so it was a way for them to go to body power to gain popularity. Jump forward a few years now, you're on to like 2016 onwards, you start seeing that Gymshark and these boots are super, super massive, and they're bringing in such an audience. Now you jump to this year in particular, most of the big brands weren't there. There was no bodybuilding.com. USN had a very tiny booth, whereas they normally do like a massive thing and do loads of giveaways. This year, when it came to the giveaways, in honesty, I didn't see on the Friday anybody doing that sort of giveaway where they throw like loads out and they get a crowd and anything like that. Nothing of substance. And my problem this year isn't the fact that it was quiet, like there was less people, because there was quite a lot less people. Trust me, if you'd seen my video and you thought it was kind of deserted, I strategically filmed that to make it look as good as possible. There was chunks of space all around the expo, and the owner of Body Power, his theory was the reason why they did that on purpose was because in previous years, people have complained and said that it's too cramped and they want to have more freedom and space. So they decided to make it more spacious. I'm an adult, so I can kind of call bullshit there. Like, you can't shit in my hand and tell me it's candy. I can obviously see that there's, there's, there's such thing as space or like comfortable moving around and then there's just space. I mean there was chunks of areas where you could easily have put in like four booths. You know I mean? You don't need that much space just to wander around and walk. It's fair to say that you would assume that some of the larger booths weren't willing to pay the sort of money that it cost for body power. Didn't arrive this year or they didn't come for whatever reason. Don't try to dress it up. It's, it's, you bet if you just said, yeah, some of the other booths didn't feel like coming this year, so we have a bit more freedom to put more food stands up. I'd rather you say that, but I understand it's marketing. You gotta spin it how you wanna spin it. But that was one thing I was like, okay, I don't believe that. But it is what it is. I love body power, so I'm not gonna shit on that. There you go, that's better. I was bending him in the background, I could barely see myself. Um, but yeah. I'm just, in honesty, I don't want to go into too much depth and make it seem like I'm just being against the expo because I know that some people did say they enjoyed it, uh, but getting a feeling from the people that were there and the people I spoke to, like regular people, not the influencers yet, a lot of them said they definitely could tell there was a bit of a decline, it wasn't as good as they hoped. Um, those are mainly the people that have been to previous years. Some of the people that came this year for the first time, they have nothing to compare it to, so some of them were like, yeah, it was alright, it looked a bit empty, but it was okay. And I kind of feel bad for those people because if they had came in the prime years, 2014 to 2016, even 17, it was absolutely rocking and I loved the weekend. And the fact that I had the opportunity and a free ticket to go on the Saturday and then go to the influencer, influencer meetup on the Saturday and I chose not to go just shows how downhearted I was. But this is my objective truth and I feel like some other influencers I've spoken to that have said like, oh yeah, it was absolutely great. I have to call semi bullshit or semi biased because the ones I've known that's gone to previous years and they're telling me this is still good. I know they're just saying that because they got paid to show up in a hotel, they got paid to go to a booth and the meeting they're following, that's great for you. 
However, the average person, the man of the people that's on the street, that's just there going to go as a normal individual that hasn't paid, that hasn't been paid to go, sorry, and has bought tickets, their experience is different to an influence that got all expense trip to Birmingham in a hotel and gonna get meals throughout the whole weekend. Whereas an average person, I bought my ticket on the Friday, that's why I probably feel more pain as well. Because you're spending, what, £35 per ticket plus the booking fee, and you go in there and you're not getting your money's worth at all. Once upon a time, you could almost get your money and double back in supplements and just giveaways. This year on Friday, big letdown. If you went on the Saturday, let me know below. Some people keep saying, oh, Friday's always dead. That's, that is, Friday is obviously not the busy day. Saturday's the most busiest day. But the Friday that I went this year was obviously dramatically different. Like I've shown clips in the video or the previous video of Friday from 2017. That was what we called dead back then. And that was still popping. Like, that was still full up. If you compare even that to this year, there is you, you can drastically see different. And one thing which is kind of silly, but one thing I missed, was the yellow carpet. Body Power was known for its super yellow carpet. Anytime I used to go on Instagram feed and see someone with a picture and a yellow carpet, I knew it was to do with Body Power. And for some reason they removed that and they didn't put any new carpet. So all you've seen is this scuffed up floor. I don't get why that was one thing. I know that's something very minuscule and small, but that was just something that to me was silly. And I've heard some other people saying, they got rid of the yellow floor. So it's kind of like one of those things. It'd be like, for example, if Gold's Gym got rid of that tattered wall that everyone takes the pictures with. But anyways, all I want to know is, what did you guys think of the expo? Comment down below. Try not be too much of a, like this, a thing as constructive criticism. At the end of the day, for the people that body power that may see this video, I'm not making this video to shit on the event or you guys in total, because I love body power. This is coming from me hopefully hoping that next year you have one, because I, I, I'm praying to God that this year, as it seems, I could be wrong, but it seems to not be as popping as previous years. I'm hoping that this does not end up that next year you cancel it and stuff like that. Because I really do love these events. I just hope that people down below either write what they loved about Body Power, what they didn't like. And you guys can take that as constructive criticism and actually, hopefully, use some of that information. And the next year you apply it to what you're doing. Um, I don't want anything that I'm saying to come off as I am taking the piss out of you because I'm really not. This is coming from a loving place. Like when I was there on the Friday, I was absolutely gutted. And when I mean gutted, I was upset. Like I wasn't ranting, I wasn't being like a dick about it. But the people I was with could tell that I was kind of upset because I really love body power. And I'm very, really, really, really worried that they potentially may not do another one next year because I don't know how the Saturday's going. I've looked at some of the snaps on Instagram Live. It still didn't look as round as I thought it would have been. For those of you that went to Body Power or you've seen the stuff that's been uploaded by people, what did you think of the expo? If you have actually been to Body Power, please comment down below what things do you love about Body Power and what things do you dislike. And hopefully we can get a constructive conversation going below and people like, I'm going to say his name, Nick Horton who owns Body Power, you never know, may implement them. For me personally, uh, the one thing I actually quite enjoyed was the table tennis that Barbell uh, booth brought. I feel like if you didn't have enough space or enough booths to fill it up, you could have done more fun things. Like, Because this year, I feel like some of the giveaways, they only let you enter the giveaways if you paid for one of their items. Then you could do a spin, which I thought was ridiculous. I know Body Power can't control the booth, but the reason why the booth's doing that is because the potential cost price to go to Body Power is quite high, so they can't afford to be giving away too much products. So I'm not saying I want to tell, tell Body Power to lower their rates, but that obviously is a factor why certain booths didn't show up and why certain booths couldn't afford to throw out too many items, especially on the Friday. They may do more on the Saturday, I assume, but the fact that people bought tickets for the Friday and the Sunday may potentially not get much giveaways purely because of that is very unfair in my opinion. Uh, but that's something that's a bit more on the, the money financial side of body power. But if, even if they have had things like fun things like basketball court, badminton court, things that you know you, people can do without having to pay for just to have like a bit of fun and have a bit of jokes at the event, I feel like that would have went a long way. Anyways, I feel like that is most of my gripes. There are probably more things I could say, but I, I want this video to be constructive. I don't want it to come off like I'm being a dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? It may still come off that way. If it is, then I'm sorry. But yeah, man, um, for the rest of you that subscribe to my channel that don't even know what Body Power is, I am sorry if, if you made it this far. All I can say is salute because this wasn't even a, a video for you guys. Anyways, I am gone. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know your opinions below. Try not to be too blunt, but give your real, your real opinion. Ah, oh, man, I'm so good. Today is Saturday I'm filming this. 
and normally I would be there having so much fun but I couldn't, I don't even think it was worth me paying the £16 parking to drive there and collect my free ticket and that's saying a lot I'm really 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 gutted really 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 gutted <sighs> It is what it is, man. Hopefully next year if they do it, I feel like you gotta do something big. You've gotta pull out an Arnold Schwarzenegger or pay Jim Shard to come back. You've gotta do something so monumentally big that people that have kind of turned off by body fat from this year decide to go again. Um, because I feel like you can't just have a bad year and expect the next year to be okay by doing the same sort of stuff. You've gotta do something savage next year and I hope you do. I'm tempted maybe, I should not even talk about other expos, but I think I may try going to another expo in another country. I'm not going to say they're brand in this video, but it is what it is, man. I am gone. I just got to leave it there, man. I keep ran not ranting, but I keep talking. In a bit, people. Stay getting gains. Guys, get yourself there. Body power. And I'm gonna go see Muscle Fury, get some food, I'm starving. Alright, let's go. There's some girls over there that I'll be coming back for. Right, we've gonna do a challenge at this booth. Yeah, man, it's been a good expo so far, man. I really enjoyed it. This is only Friday.